Hey everyone, so for May, I thought we could do some flow. We're gonna flow into the summer, we're gonna flow away from the spring, we're gonna flow through life, making our own waves, of course. However, we're gonna make the most of what comes each day just by kind of flowing sometimes. So we're gonna start with some yoga type activities for May. So the first thing I want you to do is just to have a nice little easy starting position. And I just want you to start with a simple little breathe up and breathe out and breathe up and breathe out great job so we're just gonna do a couple more of these breathe up and breathe out and one more breathe up and as you breathe out this time I just want you to twist slightly to your side okay and as I'm twisting I put my opposite hand on my knee and I kind of help myself twist into it my other hand is behind me just as a stabilizing point I'm keeping my shoulders down and away from my ears. As I breathe in, I get ready. And as I breathe out, I see if I can twist just a little bit further into that twist. Hold here for a few more seconds, breathing in and breathing out. Raise your hands up as you untwist and then come back to the other side. So I'm gonna just twist to the other side, opposite hand, opposite knee using that to help myself twist into it a little bit deeper if i can keep your shoulders down and away from your ears breathe in and breathe out seeing if you can twist just a little bit deeper into that side pose side twist breathe in and out and just be grateful for your opportunity to be here so like i said life comes at us you gotta flow with it sometimes but breathe in Arms up, come back to the center here with me. Great. You gotta go with it sometimes, but you also have to know when to create your own waves. So we're gonna come here. This is a simple tabletop position, okay? My hands are right underneath my shoulders. My knees are right underneath my hips. I'm just gonna start here. I'm gonna gradually sink my back down. So I'm letting my, I almost feel like there's a magnet attached, attached to my belly button pulling me towards the ground. Okay, so now reverse it. Imagine those magnets are on opposite ends and push yourself away from the ground as far as you can. All right, so this is cow. And then drop down again and this is, nope, sorry. That was cat, this is cow. Just kind of slope down and then pull yourself up. And we want to make sure that our spine is very flexible, but we want to make sure that we're strong enough that we can hold our spine in the position that's most suitable for us. So that's a neutral spine position. So we don't wanna to be too cat or too cow. One more cat up and away. Great job. As we're here, come back to that neutral spine. So that means that you're just flat, okay? I want you to take one leg out. And just tap it on the ground. And I want you to take the opposite hand out and just keep it on the ground. Now, gradually raise that back leg up or the leg that's out up and try to get it as straight as you can, just an extension of that spine that we have going straight as well. If you have the balance and the comfort, raise the arm as well. So you're a one long, long, long extended bird dog is what a lot of people call this pose. If you're having trouble balancing, you can certainly always put your hand back down or you can put your foot down with the goal to teach yourself to be able to control this balance. Release it. Bring it in. Now take your other leg out and tap your toe on the ground. Take the opposite hand out and keep the, I like to keep my pinky finger on the ground until I'm ready to activate. Now when I say activate, that means I am really contracting my core and tightening everything so I don't wobble. So raise your leg if you can. Find that good position for yourself. Additionally, raise your arm if you can. Now, one other thing to help me not wobble is to find something to stare at. So right now I've got a little piece of grass on my mat right there that I'm staring at very judiciously, very, very steadily to make sure that I don't wobble too much. Great. Relax yourself down. We're going to go into child's pose. So for that, you just sink back into your heels and really stretch out. I like to extend my fingers up as far as I can so that I'm really stretching out my, my shoulders as well, my armpits, that area. Relax your head down into the mat. Now, one thing that I like to do is I actually like to put my toes together in child's pose and really straighten or extend out my knees so it's almost like a big V. I feel like I can get a little bit deeper 
into my my groin with that kind of stretch but really that's up to you see what feels good for you just breathe in every time you breathe in try to when you breathe out try to go a little bit deeper into whatever the pose is that you're holding or whatever the stretch is that you're working on great job all right come back up to tabletop so from tabletop we're going to talk about the plank position so for plank what I want you to do is I want you just to extend your legs out and come up into a very, very flat back. If you need to be on your knees for plank, that is perfectly fine. But a couple cues that I want you to make sure that you're aware of. One, I want you to make sure that your elbows, wrist, and shoulders are in perfect alignment. They're going straight up and down, okay? Two, I want you to make sure that you are not like sinking into your shoulders and you're not rounding out away from your shoulders. So one way to make sure that that's happening is to keep your head in what's called neutral alignment. So you're not dropping your head down and you're not pushing your head up. You're just staring right, right a little bit higher than your fingertips onto your mat down in front of you. All right. You're also not sinking down into your core. Even if you're in the knee position, you still have a very similar straight line approach. From here, we're going to push yourself up. Don't worry about your legs right now. I want you to think about your arms. So my legs are going to stay bent as I talk you through downward dog a little bit. So my arms. I'm really just pushing away from the mat with my arms, trying to sink in, kind of drop my head. I'm not relaxing my head. My head, my ears are just right next to my, my biceps. So I'm just really thinking about pushing away. All right, I want you to come down onto your knees. Give your wrists a little bit of a break. That can be a little bit intense on, for some people. Give yourself a little bit of a break. We're gonna go back up and we're gonna add the legs. So you're here, remember, right over then push back. Now with your legs, keep them bent for a minute. Take one leg and make it straight. Now switch legs. This is called pedal. So just kind of gradually at your own pace, go back and forth between your legs and you're teaching your body what it feels like to be in that downward dog position, but you're not shocking your body into that position. All right. Now, as you become more comfortable, try to put both legs on the ground and continue to push away from your hands back into your legs. Now for some people, you might not be at a very, I am not even super deep into the pose. Some people might just be right here and that's fine. Maybe your hamstrings are super tight, okay? You need to figure out what that downward dog position feels like for you. I like to come a little bit closer than my normal starting position into plank, but I'm really pushing away from my hands on that mat. I'm trying to go deeper into my hips and into my hamstrings, okay? But if you need to be here, that's obviously perfectly fine. When I first started doing this, my wrists got so tired. Good. From here, if you can, if you need to bend your knees, that's fine. I want you just to kind of walk your way up. Once you get here, come all the way up, nice and easy. And I want you now just to kind of think about having a straight back. So by, to keep a straight back, I like to kind of keep my chin facing up and just kind of fold forward to wherever that means to you. If you need to gently rest your hands, don't come put all your weight on your hands. If you need to just gently rest your hands on your thighs, please do that. I'm just trying to keep as straight as a back as you can going forward. I like to hang my hands. It's not too intense on my back. If it's too intense, take some of that pressure away and put your hands on your, on your thighs a little bit. And now what I want you to do is just release from that flat back and just drop down into a fold. So my forward fold, I can get pretty far. Some people might just, this, their, their forward fold might not be a whole lot of different than their, than their flat back. So you just kind of hang into whatever your level is. Good. Roll up. And we're gonna go into what's called chair position. So chair position, you're gonna just kind of squat down by sitting backwards as you go down. So look at my knees. My knees and my lower, my, my lower part of my body don't really move. I'm just sitting backwards so, so from my knees to my hips is what moves. From the lower part, it does not for that chair, for the chair pose and the chair hold. All right, come up one more time. That can get start to get burn a little bit. So think about it. My chest, I, my head staying straight. My knees are staying right where they are, and I'm just sinking my booty back. As I'm doing that, I can wiggle my toes, which means that all of my weight is in my heels. That's where I want it to be. Good and come up. Tiny little flow to start off this whole month. So what you're gonna do is you are going to go into a forward fold, whatever that means for you. 
Good, hold here. Raise up into a flat back. Drop it down into a forward fold again. And raise up, try to get your chest up first, arms above, and then go into just a nice little chair pose right here. And up. Go back down into a forward fold. Up to flat back. Forward fold. Raise it up, chest up first, into chair. Good. Up. Do two, two more times. A forward fold. So if you're just forward folding right here, that's perfectly fine. Find your flat back. That means kind of pull your shoulders back a little bit. Go back into a forward fold. Come up, chest first. Go down into that chair pose. One more, up, breathe in, breathe out into the forward fold, breathe in as you come up into your flat back, breathe out into your forward fold, breathe in as you come up, breathe out into your chair position, and breathe in to center at the top of your mat. Guys, great job. Welcome to May. See you again tomorrow. Have a great day.